Hello, wonderful brains. A very warm welcome to your English reader class with your friend Aprajita. So, here we start with the acknowledged series of your language Odyssey by Amit Publishing House, class 5. So, children, today let's start chapter number 6. And the chapter is The Caged Bird. Caged means Pinjare ke andar bird. Fine? You understand what is a cage? Cage ko pinjare ko bolte hai cage. And the caged bird means the bird inside the cage. So, before we start reading the story, let's read something about the story. Nobody likes to be in cages or under any restrictions. Kisi ko bhi pinjare ke andar rehna pasand nahi hai. Koi animal ho ya bird ho ya aap hum bhi kisi restrictions mein rehna pasand nahi karte. If we are put under so many restrictions, we also feel very uncomfortable. Then, why we are we doing the same with innocent and speechless birds and other animals? Agar hume restrictions mein rehna pasand nahi hai, hume bandishon mein rehna pasand nahi hai, hume koi pinchre mein band kar de, to kya ho? तो हम इन बेजुबान जानवरों को या बर्ड्स को छोटी-छोटी बर्ड्स को अपने एंटरटेनमेंट के लिए क्यों केज में बंद करते हैं? This story will give us a new point of view. तो इस स्टोरी को पढ़ते हैं, देखते हैं इसमें से हमें क्या सीखने को मिलता है, कुछ नहीं। Anand was the most popular boy in the school and his locality as well. Anand was a boy. और वो बहुत पॉपुलर था अपने फ्रेंड्स के बीच में और जहां वो रहता था वहां पे उसका बहुत नाम He always stood first in the class in sports too he was a champion क्लास में हमेशा फर्स्ट आता था और स्पोर्ट्स में भी वो चैंपियन था As a result he had a lot of friends Anand had developed a hobby of collecting different kinds of birds Anand को एक हॉबी थी अनंत की अलग अलग तरह के बर्ड्स को इकट्ठा करना। He spent most of his pocket money on buying them. अपनी जितनी भी पॉकेट मनी थी वो इन बर्ड्स को खरीदने में स्पेंड करता था। One of the rooms of in his house and the veranda were full of bird cages. He took great interest in feeding and looking after them. उसका जो एक रूम था वो पूरा पिंजरों से इन बर्ड्स के पिंजरों से भरा हुआ था और वरांडे में भी अलग-अलग तरीके के बर्ड के केजेस थे। The और वो उनको खिलाना भी उसको बहुत अच्छा लगता था और अच्छे से देखभाल भी करता था। The amusing and funny moments of the birds, their chirping and twittering thrilled him and his friends। जो बर्ड्स अलग-अलग तरीके के वो करती थी funny moments करती थी funny moments means वो उछलती कूदती थी उड़ती थी पिंजरे के अंदर थोड़ा थोड़ा वो देखके उसको बहुत अच्छा लगता था उसके friends भी enjoy करते थे उनकी आवाजों को उनके खेल कूद को सब चीजें enjoy करते थे his house looked like a मेला all the time हर वक्त उसके घर में मेला सा लग रहता था if his younger sister ever protested Anand turned a deaf ear to her objections. कभी अगर उसकी छोटी बहन ने objection भी किया, कुछ कहा भी इसके बारे में, तो वो सुनता ही नहीं था। वो सुनता ही नहीं था अपनी बहन को। Now, however, his parents did not like it, but they did not object because Anand was an obedient and hardworking child. Anand एक बहुत आज्ञाकारी बच्चा था। और हार्ड वर्किंग भी था अपनी पढ़ाई में भी बहुत अच्छा था तो इसलिए उसके पेरेंट्स हालांकि उसके पेरेंट्स को अच्छा नहीं लगता था ये सब लेकिन फिर भी वो मना नहीं करते थे हाउवर देयर नेबर्स वर वरीड बिकॉज़ देयर चिल्ड्रन स्पेंड मोस्ट ऑफ देयर टाइम इन वाचिंग द बर्ड्स अब जो उसके नेबर्स थे पड़ोसी वो लोग बहुत चिंतित रहते थे क्योंकि उनके बच्चे ज्यादातर अपना टाइम इन बर्ड्स को देखने में ही निकालते थे द गार्डियंस had no idea how to solve this problem. The children were simply fascinated by the antics of the birds. Now, 
Guardians means one who looks after the child, जो बच्चों की देखभाल करते हैं और fascinated means attracted. ये बच्चे जो थे वो attract होते थे और by the antics of the बर्ड means tricks, जो birds tricks खेलती थी अंदर जो खेल कूद करती थी उससे ये बच्चे बहुत attract होते थे One Sunday morning, Anand's parents told him that they had to visit a relative living in the town. They wanted Anand to accompany them, but he showed his reluctance. Reluctance. Now, what happened? One Sunday morning, his parents ne bola, Anand ke parents ne ki hume ek relative ke ghar jo town mein rehte hain, waha jana hai milne. To Anand ko bhi unhone bola ki tum bhi saath chalo. Lekin Anand ne refuse kar diya. Usne jaane ki ichha nahi jata. Anand wanted to spend the day with his friends and pal. Now, वो अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ अपना दिन स्पेंड करना चाहता था हिज पेरेंट्स एग्रीड बट वॉन्ट हिम दैट ही शुड नॉट गो आउटसाइड द हाउस उसके पेरेंट्स ने कहा ओके ठीक है लेकिन आप घर से बाहर नहीं जाएंगे दे वुड लॉक द मेन एंट्रेंस एज देर हैड बीन फ्रीक्वेंट इंसिडेंट्स ऑफ डे लाइट बर्गलरी एज वेल एज चाइल्ड लिफ्टिंग उसके पेरेंट्स ने बोला हम मेन एंट्रेंस जो है उसको लॉक करके जाएंगे क्योंकि चारों तरफ चोरी और बच्चों को उठाने के वारदात हुए हैं तो इसलिए हम घर का जो मेन एंट्रेंस है उसे लॉक करके जाएंगे अनंत अग्रीड मोस्ट विलिंगली टू कंप्लाई विद देयर ऑर्डर्स एंड कॉल ऑल हिज फ्रेंड्स टू हिज होम अब अनंत ने क्या कहा अनंत मान गया ये बात और उसने सारे फ्रेंड्स अपने घर बुला लिया हिज मदर प्रिपेयर फूड फॉर अनंत एंड हिज फ्रेंड्स and left home at 10 am after locking the house from outside ab uski mother ne anand ke liye uske friends ke liye khana banaya aur 10 am wo chale gaye ghar ka main entrance lock for anand and his friends it was a great day because there was no one to stop them from having fun and frolic fun and frolic what is fun and frolic enjoyment मस्ती करने से उनको कोई रोकने वाला नहीं था उनके लिए ये बहुत बड़ा दिन दे सैन एंड डांस प्लेड एंड जम्प्ड एज दे लाइक जैसा उनका मन चाहा उन्होंने गाने गाए खेले कूदे एट वन पी एम दे रमेस्ट थ्रू द रेफ्रिजरेटर एंड किचन ड्रॉर्स एंड एट देयर फूड अब उनको भूख लगी वन पी एम पे उन्होंने क्या किया रेफ्रिजरेटर खोला सब जगह से जो भी खाने की चीज थी सब निकाल के उन्होंने भरपेट खाया देन दे वॉश द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द बर्ड्स अब वो बर्ड्स की एक्टिविटीज देखने लगे दे एंजॉय देयर चर्पिंग एंड फ्लटरिंग ऑफ विंग्स वो अपने पंख फड़फड़ाती है ना बर्ड्स तो पिंजरे के अंदर वो पंख फड़फड़ाती थी और चर्पिंग करती थी तो उन फ्रेंड्स को और उनको बड़ा मजा आता था ग्रेजुअली द प्लेजर बिगैन टू वेयर ऑफ Soon it was 3 p.m. The younger ones got tired of all this and wanted to go home. Ab dheere dheere kya hua sabki energy down hone lagi. Jo chote bacche the wo 3 baje ke kareeb wo ghar jaane jana chahte the apne apne ghar jana chahte. To their disappointment the house was locked from the outside. Now what happened to them? Ab अनंत के पेरेंट्स तो बाहर से लॉक लगा के गए थे लेकिन तो वो फ्रेंड्स कैसे जाते बाहर अपने घर कैसे जाते सम ऑफ देम पीप आउट ऑफ द विंडो बार्स वाइल द अदर्स वेटेड वंस अगेन दे एंगेज देमसेल्स इन प्लेइंग हाइड एंड सी बट दैट टू डिड नॉट एंटरटेन देम वो विंडोस विंडो के बाहर देखने लगे और फिर से अपने आप को उन्होंने खेलने में बिजी कर लिया बट वो भी ज्यादा देर तक नहीं चले इट वॉज फोर पी एम येट देर वॉज नो साइन ऑफ अनंत पेरेंट्स फॉर गेटिंग एवरी थिंग द चिल्ड्रेन वेट इट साइलेंटली फॉर देम टू रिटर्न ना फोर चार भी बज गए शाम को लेकिन अनंत के पेरेंट्स नहीं आए वापस और ये सब बच्चे अब सब कुछ भूल के शांति से बैठ गए और वेट करने लगे अनंत के पेरेंट्स के आने अनंत इनिशिएटेड अ क्विज फ्रॉम अ मैगजीन वाइल द अदर्स गेस्ट द आंसर 
This way time passed and soon it was evening. अब अनंत ने क्या किया एक मैगजीन में से क्विज लिया और क्विज खेलने लगा वो अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ ऐसे करके शाम हो गई नाउ दे ऑल लुक टूवर्ड्स द रोड बट इट वॉज डिजर्टेड एज अ वर्ल्ड Anand tried his best to pacify them but some had tears in their eyes and some were on the verge of crying ab quiz bhi finish ho gaya sham ho gayi sab road ki taraf dekhne lage lekin anand ke parents nahi aaye koi bhi nahi dikha unhe road pe ab kuch bachcho ke aankhon mein aansu aa gaye kuch to bilkul rone hi wale the all of a sudden anand's eyes fell on the cage fell on the cages he felt he too was like the birds in the cage ab anand ki achanak aankh padi birds ke cages pe usko laga ki aaj wo sabhi in birds ki tarah hain jo ki pinchre mein band hain at about 7 pm anand's parents returned they had been caught in a traffic jam and were therefore delayed ab 7 sham ke 7 baje anand ke parents wapas aaye kyunki wo traffic jam mein fans the the children beamed with joy on their arrival wo uchal pade khushi se uchal pade bacche jaise hi anand ke parents aaye as soon as the front door was unlocked the children rushed to their homes jaise hi unhone entrance wala door khola uske parents ne sare bacche भाग के रश्ट भाग के अपने अपने घर चले गए द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग अनंत गॉट अप वेरी अर्ली एंड सेट ऑल द बर्ड्स फ्री अब नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग जब अनंत जल्दी उठा थोड़ा और उसने सारे पिंजरों के दरवा डोर खोल दिए सारे पिंजरे खोल दिए और सब बर्ड्स को उड़ जाने दिए When his mother asked the reason for the sudden change, Anand explained, "Mummy, yesterday for the first time I learned what it was like to be imprisoned." Anand ki mother ne jab pucha ki tumne aisa kyu kiya? Aisa sudden change tumme kaise aaya? To Anand ne kaha ki kal pehli baar mujhe इम्प्रिजनमेंट क्या होता है एक पिंजरे के अंदर बंद होना क्या होता है कैसी फीलिंग आती है वो उसका पता चला वी वर इन साइड द हाउस ओनली फॉर सम आवर्स इमेजिन द डिस्ट्रेस ऑफ द बर्ड्स हु आर केस्ड ऑल द टाइम सो आई हम तो कुछ ही घंटों के लिए घर के अंदर बंद हुए थे लेकिन इन बर्ड्स का क्या जो कि कब से इस, इस पिंजरे के अंदर कैद थे इसलिए मैंने इन सब को उड़ा दिया पिंजरे से बाहर मतलब हक करना गले लगाना और affection with affection, प्यार के साथ मदर ने अनंत को गले मदर ने बोला अब तुम्हें फ्रीडम का मतलब पता चला कि फ्रीडम क्या होता है फ्रीडम किसे कहते हैं फ्री होना किसे कहते हैं यस अनंत नॉडेड हिज हेड विद अ स्माइल एंड रैन आउटसाइड अनंत ने बोला यस मदर अब मुझे पता चल गया कि फ्रीडम का की वैल्यू क्या होती है फ्रीडम मतलब क्या होता है वो भी पता चल गया और फ्रीडम की वैल्यू क्या होती है वो भी पता चल गया इन अ नक्शल अगर हम इसको एक नक्शल में डालें हमने क्या पढ़ा इसमें इन दिस स्टोरी वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ फ्रीडम फ्रीडम की क्या इम्पोर्टेंस होती है क्या महत्व होता है फ्रीडम ऑल द बर्ड्स ऑल्सो हैव राइट टू फ्रीडम एंड दे लुक ब्यूटिफुल इन द स्काई यस बर्ड्स का हैबिटेट स्काई है उनको स्काई में उड़ने देना चाहिए उन्हें केज में बंद नहीं करना चाहिए बर्ड्स आर इनकाकेटेड लिविंग बींग्स एंड शुड बी लेफ्ट शुडन बी लेफ्ट इन केज बट सेट फ्री to enjoy the space which god has planned for them god ne unko unko ek pura space diya hai ek space diya hai unne ke liye sky aasman diya hai hame unko pakad ke cage ke andar band nahi karna chahiye unki freedom nahi chheenni chahiye fine children so did you like this story have you learned something from this story 
Yes. So, let's see. Our testing time is there. Tick the correct options. We have to tick the correct options now. Anand had developed a hobby of collecting different kinds of flowers, birds, stamps, storybooks. He had developed a hobby of collecting different kinds of birds. Anand's house looked like a school, hospital, mela or exhibition. It looked like a mela. So we take here. Anand wanted to spend the day with his friends, sister, parents, neighbors. He wanted to spend the day with his friends. Now next one is write T for true and F for false statements. So jo sahi statement hai uske aage T lagayenge true and jo galat hai uske aage hum F likhenge. F means false. Fine children. Anand was the most popular boy of the school. Was it? Yes. This is True, he was the most popular boy of the school. A room and a veranda in his house were full of furniture. Were they full of furniture? No, they were full of birds and birds' cages. So this is a false statement. He did not like the melodious chirping and twittering of the birds. No, this is false. And liked the twittering of the and chirping of the birds. Anand initiated a quiz from a magazine for his friends. Yes, they had to pass the time. So, Anand initiated a quiz. Anand got up early and set the birds free. Yes, this is also true. So, write T. Anand's mother embraced him the most rudely. No, she embraced him most affectionately. So, this is false. Right, F. Okay, children. Now, coming to the fill in the blanks, we have to complete these sentences as we have read in the chapter. One of the rooms in Anand's house and the veranda were, were full of bird cages. Full stop. The amusing and funny movements of the birds, their chirping and twittering, thrilled him and his friends. आप जब अच्छे से रीड करेंगे इस चैप्टर को दोबारा से फिर से रीड करेंगे तो आपको ये लाइंस यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट दीज लाइंस द चिल्ड्रन वर सिंपली फैसिनेटेड बाय व्हाट बाय द एंटिक्स ऑफ द बर्ड्स इफ हिज यंगर सिस्टर एवर प्रोटेस्टेड अनंत टर्न अ डेफ ईयर टू हर ऑब्जेक्शंस एंड द लास्ट वन इज इट वाज 4 पीएम Yet there was no sign of Anand's parents. Fine, children. So we move ahead. Answer the following questions. Now we have to answer the following questions. What hobby had Anand developed recently? Anand had developed of collecting different kinds of birds. This hobby was. Which he developed. Why were Anand's neighbors worried? Anand's neighbors were worried because every time their children used to go to Anand's house and spend time with the birds, seeing the birds. With whom did Anand want to spend the day? Anand wanted to spend the day with his friends. With his friends, okay. How was it a great day for Anand and his friends when his parents were not at home? When Anand's parents were not at home, it was a great time. It was a great day for all of them because there was nobody to restrict them from doing anything. They can, they could do whatever they like. They could play, however they. Want. When did Anand realize that he too was like the birds in the cage? When Anand and his friends were locked at in the home and 
Anand's parents were taking time to come back and it became from morning since morning till evening they were inside the house. Then at that time Anand felt that he was also like the birds in the cage. When did Anand's parents return? Why did they get late? Anand's parents returned at 7 p.m. And why did they get late? They got late because they were stuck in the traffic jam. Now we come to next exercise. Forming new words. Okay. Make new words by playing around with the letters of the words given on the left. Here some words are given. You have to form two new words with the help of this word. First is importance. So for the, the word formed is import and port. The next is Y-O-U-N-G-E-R. Younger. So what word is to be formed? Young. Y-O-U-N-G. Young. Okay. And what else can you form? Okay children. Now we come to the next exercise. It's forming new words. Make new words by playing around with the letters of the words given on the left. There are some words given here. We have to play with the letters of these words and form two new words. From this word only. Fine. So the first one is importance. Import and port. Two new words have been formed. Younger. Y-O-U-N-G-E-R. Younger. So one is Y-O-U-N-G. Young. And the other one is O and on. See. O and on is also. Interest. Interest. Inter. I-N-T-E-R. Inter. And T-E-S-T. -E test. T E S T test. Fine. Veranda. R A N ran and A N D and can also be formed. Planet. P L A N plan and N E T net. Two new words. So we have formed new words also. Now let's move ahead. Adjectives. Degrees of comparison. There are three degrees of comparison. I hope you all must have learned in your grammar the degrees of comparison, children. Often we compare the qualities of things and persons. Hum? Logo ki qualities or cheezo ko compare karte hai sir. We make this comparison using three degrees of comparison. Ye comparison hum three degrees use karte karte hai. The positive degree is used to show the simple quality of a noun. A noun ki simple quality ko show karne ke liye positive degree ka use kiya jata hai. Shitu is a clever boy. Kaisa boy hai Shitu? Clever boy hai. So, ye positive degree ho gaya. The comparative degree is show, used to show the comparison between two nouns. Two nouns ke beech mein. Shitu is cleverer than Michael. Yahan, Shitu or Michael ke beech comparison show kiya gaya hai. Fine? So, two nouns ke beech ka comparison. Shitu is cleverer than Michael. Clever ka cleverer. The superlative degree is used to show the comparison of one noun with all other in the group. Shitu is the cleverest of all the boys. Sabhi boys may say Shitu sabse other clever hai. Cleverest ho gaya. Okay? So, clever, cleverer. See, clever, cleverer and cleverest. Fine. These are the three degrees of comparison. Now, let's see what else is there. Make statements about any person, place or thing using the different degrees of comparison. degrees ka use karke. We have to make statements. So, let's start the first one. I'll do three and rest three you will do. Fine. Positive degree. Firstly, positive degree. So, let's start with it. Meena. Meena is an 
intelligent girl fine meena is an intelligent girl now comparative we have to compare between two nouns meena is more intelligent intelligent than than ritu so we have made comparison between meena and ritu meena is more intelligent than ritu now meena superlative degree meena is the most intelligent girl Meena is the most intelligent girl of the class. So, the class of forty students, Meena is the most intelligent girl. So, rest three sentences. You make yourself, children. Now, answer these questions orally. Okay? Do you think it is right to keep someone caged? किसी को पिंजरे में बंद रखना अच्छी बात होती है? No. It is not right to keep anyone caged. What is the so the answer is no here. What is the importance of freedom? This is important. Okay, children, if you are free, if you are set free, if you have freedom, what is the importance of freedom? Do you know? We are living in a free country. We are not ruled by anybody. पहले हमें हमार हमें Britishers ruled करते थे और how we were treated as slaves. उस टाइम हम फ्री नहीं थे सो नाउ वी आर फ्री हाउ फ्री वी आर टू डू एनीथिंग वी वांट अंडर द लॉ सो फ्रीडम इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग यू कैन गो एनीवेयर यू कैन डू एनीथिंग यू कैन यू हैव अ राइट टू स्पीक व्हाटएवर यू लाइक टू गुड यू हैव टू स्पीक गुड सो फ्रीडम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन एनीवन बट इज लाइक इफ वी आर रिस्ट्रिक्टेड somewhere someone restricts us not to do anything then how will we survive we will not be able to survive if we are closed in a room in a room if we are closed for days and days for months and months so will you be able to survive no so freedom is very important children okay now you have to write some sentences about caging the birds must be banned now children this is the topic caging the birds must be banned you know this topic has to be discuss discussed amongst yourself why caging is to be banned because if we cage the birds or any animal we don't give them the freedom we restrict them from living in their habitat we restrict them because we are keeping them in the cage and cage is not their habitat unka habitat nahi hai birds or animals ka habitat nahi hai wo rehne ki jagah nahi hai cage agar hame koi hamare ghar se alag kar deta hai so how do we survive so this caging of birds for our entertainment hame acha lagta hai different color ke birds dekhna unki awaazein sunna to hum unko pinchre mein band kar lete hain just because of our entertainment we should not cage the birds so caging should be banned by the government so write down few lines about this now anand and his friends are telling us what they'll become when they grow up use the picture clues and the words in the help box to complete what they say okay the first one is done scientists carry out experiments pilot flies aeroplanes doctor takes care of sick people now let's see the exercise kya hai here see when i grow up i'll be a scientist i'll carry out experiments experiment kyu kyunki scientist jo hai wo experiments karte hain who is this pilot so here we can write what to write when i'll do it for you and the last one you will do yourself when i grow up this is a pilot when i grow up i'll be a 
pilot. And what does the pilot do? I'll, I'll fly plane. I'll fly planes. Okay? And who is this? Doctor. So, when I grow up, I'll be a doctor. I'll take care of the patients. I'll take care of the patient. The doctor takes care of the patient. So, write down this in your notebook. Okay, children. Here we end with our chapter. I hope you all enjoyed the chapter and had a very good lesson that freedom is very necessary for everyone, be it a human being or animals or birds. We should never ever cage anybody for our entertainment. So, I hope you all enjoyed the chapter. Be connected. Stay excited for the next clamp of video. Till then, bye. Have a nice time.